Looky here, my hobby box, boxes, plural, but I'm only opening one today. My Bowman Best 23-24 college basketball, I guess university, um, has arrived in the mail. I've been looking forward to this for a long, long time. We have five cards per pack, 12 packs per box. We do get four autographs per box. I am here for it. I have opened up a Breakers Delight box. If you haven't seen that video, check that out. We're going to jump right in and get ripping. As I've said before in past videos, this product, uh, specifically Bowman Chrome, has been one of my favorite to open. And this is just the next product in that line, Bowman Best of the university flavor and we're looking for yukon players specifically uh tristan newton cami buckets and uh solo ball and uh autos page backers uh, that, that's about it of course like caitlin clark and um any of the women who are uh, popular in this product. So here we go. Starting off, Justin Edwards on the base. These cards are gorgeous looking. I think they even look better than the Bowman Chrome University. We got our first Caitlin Clark second card in. Oh, man. <laughs> man, check that out, man. I You don't... <laughs> Okay, this is this is extremely special to me. Pulling a Stefan Castle. I forgot to mention him at the beginning. I knew I was leaving somebody out. I've been trying to enter into breaks or just even rip uh, a UConn men's basketball player autograph. I've opened up tons of boxes of all variety in the Bowman University Chrome. And this, <laughs> man, this is so special to me. Stefan Castle, auto with the jersey. This, this I, I can't put words in it. This is what exactly what I've been looking for. And I, I was in a rip to try to get a, a Cam Spencer auto in a three case <laughs> break and only one card of his and one numbered card came up and this, this was the breakers um and stefan castle came up uh got pulled like 12 times there must have been like four or five autos i don't think there was a jersey card in it with an auto but that is extremely special to me like this box could could like just have trash the rest of the way. This is exactly what I was looking for. First pack in. Ah uh, man, I can't I can't say enough uh how pleased I am for this box. That is just so kick ass. Um I know this is ripping after dark, so my light setup isn't the greatest. Uh so hopefully there we go. We got a little we don't have a glare over here. Um, my uh, top loaders for thicker cards are in my closet, so I don't have them handy right now, so we'll just leave it in that sleeve. But rounding it out, we got Dusty Stromer and Jamari McDowell. Wow, guys. I, I can't. <laughs> I am just blown away at what just happened here. I, I You just... I, I can't. That... I mean, the only thing that can make it better is if I pull a Cam Spencer. He's my favorite player on UConn at the moment. Hannah Hidalgo um, on the base. We got Zach Eady, the beast. We got Riley Kugel, who I've pulled a, um, I pulled two of his cards in one box of the uh, Breakers, uh, which was a 10-card uh, box, and I pulled his auto and another numbered card. So I got plenty of him. We got Namari Burnett and Blake Hinson. Man, these cards are sharp, shiny. 
seeing him on video is nothing like seeing him in person. This is my first time. Again, I just got these cards in. I bought them the day, like within the hour that Topps released them on their website. We got Kwame Evans. Um, I just can't look. I guess you could just kind of see the the reflection. It's still, I, I've watched other people open them and nothing does it justice other than seeing them in person. We got Simeon and Wilcher. We got Sean Stewart on the auto to 10. Seven out of 10. Nice. The red. Sean Stewart of Duke. I feel like I also pulled one of his cards lately. His auto. I think in the Chrome recently. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. Wow. Of course, Duke is facing Houston coming up this weekend. Or on Thursday or Friday. Probably Friday, I think. Uh, that's going to be an awesome game to watch. I, I I thought Duke was going to end up like Kentucky, but they're proven to step up uh, at the right time. We got RJ Jones and Michaela Williams in the base. So, man, <laughs> three packs in, beautiful. All right, DJ Wagner on the base. McKenzie. Mbappo, <laughs> I still don't know his actual last name, how to say it. We got Georgia Amore on the refractor. El Marco Jackson and Riley Kugel on the base. I have three more boxes of this. I wanted to just open one to get a taste. Um, I will open the others at another point in time. Don't know when that will be. Oh, looks like we got... We got a die cut. We got the buckets die cut. Man, how sick would that be? I don't know if the I think there's a Cam Spencer on the buckets. And like his nickname for me is uh from me is Cammy Buckets. Um a play off of Jimmy Buckets. So how sick would that be to get him on the buckets? We got Ryan Cormick. I pulled his auto in my breakers. Uh and and him on a blue. Uh, I think to 125. Beautiful card. Uh, we got Miles Kelly. And then Nicholas Boyd. And we got Isaiah Collier on the bucket auto. 73 to 75. Awesome. And Enrique Freeman. Wow. Man, this product is just kicking ass. I just... I can't, <laughs> man. So we got three of our four autos already. We're like maybe four or five packs in. And I'm just blown away at how good this is. L. Ellis on the base. Kevin McCuller Jr. for Kansas. Got eliminated. We got Dalton Connect. Base, very nice. Color and we got Xavier Booker on the blue 70 to 150 and o Omaha blue on the base. Very nice. So I wonder how many numbered cards outside of the autos we're going to get per box. Man, this hobby is just. It's just kicking so much ass, man. I don't know what I don't know what to say. This is this is. Beyond my expectations of this product. All right, we got Jamal Shed, I guess, is uh, how they were saying his name during the game last night when Houston took on Texas Tech and ended up winning in overtime. Jamal Shed is what they said, but I would say Sheed. Uh, we got Jerry McCain. Looks like we got a green that might be the 99. We got Jeremy Fears, and then on the back, we got Angel Reese. Very nice base card there. And on the green, we got Dalton Connect, 29 out of 99. Awesome card, man. Awesome. I love the orange plays off the green diamond. I think it's a green mini diamond. Very nice. These cards are kicking ass. This could be the best rip 
I've ever had in one box. This is just sick. Like to me, this this beats pulling a Sapphire Selections, pulling a Big Kahuna. For me, anyway, personally. I know I'm not hitting like case hits, but but the quality of players that I'm hitting is out of this world. To me, anyway. I mean, of course, yeah, I could get a Caitlin Clark, of course, and make it even better. But we got Caleb Love on the base. We got Dennis Evans, uh, 40-year-old uh, attorney. No, I'm just kidding. Andrej on the back. And we got Jackson Shelstead. His Ducks made a great run. I know he got hurt in that last game. We got a little sparkle here. It's like a little disco going on here. We got Brandon Garrison of OSU. I am not familiar with him. I don't think this card is numbered. I don't see a number on it. So it's probably kind of like the checkered that was in the uh, Bowman Chrome where you had the regular refractor and then you had the checkered. Uh, this is probably replacing that as the alternative to the refractor. That's my guess on that. I haven't looked at. I haven't looked at like everything that you can get in this product, so I'm not 100 sure. Oh, we got my boy Gar Garway Dual. I think we got another buckets hit here. This, it could be another auto. It could be our last auto. We got Garway. We got Jordan Dingle. Another Big East player. On the back, we got Eric Dixon, another Big East player. So that's three out of five. And then we got Dylan Jones on the Bucket Auto Refractor, 44 out of 75. Very nice. And then Stefan Castle on the base. So sweet. So sweet. I don't usually get too excited on rips. Uh, you know, even when I pulled, you know, Wemby Silver and Monopoly, um, I didn't get too excited. But seeing like a card that I want for my PC that I've been just dying to get um, is just killer. Um, I think I think we have another buckets, another sparkle buckets. We got Paige Beckers on the base. Looks like a little damage. To that card, just a little speck of damage. It feels raised a little bit, but we got Brand Brandon Carlson. We got Tyrese Proctor with Duke. And then we got a Sparkles of Tyrese Proctor on the buckets. I haven't seen this many buckets. Steel Ventures still in the dance. Gonzaga taking on... Um, is it uh, they're taking on Purdue this week. So that is going to be a very interesting game. Again, you guys know that I'm a UConn fan, and I have been since I was eight. And I would love to see, if I could choose, I would love to see UConn and Purdue. I mean, I think everybody would, but to see those big guys match up, to see how important the supporting cast would be, uh, would be awesome, but I would also love a rematch of UConn and Creighton. Creighton was one of the, I would say, one of the only teams to beat UConn straight up. Uh, of course, Seton Hall beat them early on, but Kling Kong, uh, Donovan Klingon got hurt uh, near just after halftime. So a lot of people you know, kind of discount that. And then earlier before that, Kansas beat them by like four. And I, I can't, re I want to say, I think that was at Kansas or it was at a neutral site. I can't remember, but it was, it was one of those uh, early non-conference games. And uh, I believe Stefan Castle was not playing because he was hurt. And there might've been a couple of couple other injuries. So really um, Creighton has been the only team to kind of really, get UConn at their best and beat them straight up. So, and UConn beat them earlier in the season. So I would also love to see another um, matchup with them. And then uh, I would also love to see them and uh, UConn and Tennessee 
uh, because I live in Tennessee now and everybody around me is a Tennessee fan. So anyway, we got Dylan Jones, Taysen, Cha Taysen Chapman. I don't know. We got a refractor in the center. Baba Miller, Trevon Brazil, and in the center, the fractor. We fra <laughs> fractor. <laughs> we got Isaiah Collier, refractor. <laughs> refractor. Um, sick. All right. We got one pack left. We already got all of our autos. This has been one of the best. I've had, this is <laughs> just sick, sick. So I am beyond words. We got Isaiah Collier again. Let's see what we got in the center. It looks like a refractor. Oh, it looks like a masterpiece maybe. We got Isaiah, we got Georgia Amor on the back. We got Trey Norman and we got Javante Taylor. And for our, I wanna say it's a masterpiece. For our masterpiece, last card of the rip, Omaha Blue, non-numbered, just a masterpiece. Wait, it says it. <laughs> Look at this. Check this out. Check this out. On the back, it says, you have just received a masterpiece's autograph card, and there's no autograph there. I do have another masterpiece that is not. Here we go. A masterpiece. It's a little different and has like some special uh, breaker box um, mosaic type of texture to it. But if you see it, they're both the masterpiece. But then if you look in the back, this one just has a normal back. And this one has the congratulations. You have just received an autograph with no autograph. So that's interesting. I don't think that's going to be worth any more money. But... I don't know. I, I'm not even sure this is supposed to have an auto. I don't have a Masterpiece auto card handy. So I'm not sure what those cards are supposed to have. I, I, uh, at least I don't think so. Let me quickly take a look. See if I did get... Okay, I did. Okay, so here, here's a Masterpiece's auto. You can see how it has some white here so that the auto will stand out. This one doesn't. So I think that the wrong back got put on this card and that would be a misprint. That's very interesting. Very interesting. So anyway, very cool. <laughs> Either way, um, I am just blown away at this product. If you love college basketball like I do, um, you got to pick yourself up a box of this hobby um, I would say the hobby is a better deal. You get four autographs. It retailed at two forty nine. dollars The um, Breakers box, you get three autographs, 10 cards, three autographs. I believe you get like four num four or five numbered cards. And that went for two twenty nine. dollars So for another 30 bucks, you get some base and you get more inserts. And you get another auto. So for me, I would say the hobby box is definitely worth it. And man, I'm just I'm just blown away at what we got here. I want to quickly take a look at uh, the cards that we got other than the autos. We So we got the four autos. We got um, one, two. I don't know why George Rump Moore is in this pile. But we got our Caitlin. Um so I think we got one, two, three numbered cards. And then uh, these are just other base. So three numbered cards, four autos, three numbers, and then one, two, three inserts. So three numbered card, three inserts, four autos. Um, I think I, I, I hopefully I'm not getting myself too mixed up. But anyway, that's one box of this awesome Awesome product. There it is with uh, Lebroni, <laughs> Lebroni James on the cover. Um, there are no pack odds in this product. Um, and there's nothing on the wrappers. But you can find the checklist. 
and all of that online. Um, with that said, I'm going to end this. Um, 20 minutes for one box is a long time, but we had to savor the moment a little bit. Um, if you liked what you saw, you enjoy the rips, you enjoy anything about this, like, subscribe, comment if you've opened this product, what's been the banger of your box. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Check you on the next one.